Good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to our regular city council meeting for December 6, 2021 at 6 p.m. Good evening, council. 6.30? I said 6.30. Oh, no. I meant 6.30. So, good evening, Mr. Bridge, administration, and audience members. Thank you for coming. Uh, Ms. Berner, if you call roll, please. Yep, Mayor Lowry. I got one. Yes, here. Sorry, Mayor. Councilman Grimm. I'm here. Councilwoman Eggleston. Here. Councilman Nokowski. Here. Councilman Cobb. Here. Councilman Roadwald. Here. And Vice Mayor Cook. Here. Seven members present. All right. And tonight's invocation will be done by Vice or, um, by Councilman Cobb. Dear Heavenly Father, give us the guidance to do what's right for the citizens of the community. Watch over our military, our first responders, our fire and EMS, our deputies. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. <coughs> the Pledge of Allegiance is to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> All right, moving forward, we'll need uh, action on the regular scheduled council meeting for 10 21 Second. Motion by Ms. Eggleston, second by Ms. Nowakowski. Any discussion on members, council? Yes. Mr. Grimm. Um, in the uh, roll call, it says I was absent. You were, this was the um, budget work session? Yeah. I wasn't there. Correct. But yet on scrolling, 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 at the vote to uh, adjourn, I voted yes. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> well, that's an easy fix, though. I don't have to go through 25 pages there. Oh, yep. And I don't see where I was ever excused from that meeting. Don't I get excused? They didn't do it during the meeting. <clears throat> and I wasn't in attendance for that one. Shouldn't we have times? Time for a uh, call to order and times for adjournment? Well, during the, I didn't attend that meeting. And so when I did the minutes on it, it doesn't say the time on YouTube. So while, as I was watching it, I didn't know what time the meeting started or when it finished. And had I had <clears throat> known that, I would have figured it out and put it in there, yes. But I can right. try and... So you're going to fix that? Figure that out during this you're meeting. You're going to fix me out there then? I did. I took oh, you off of there. You. Yeah. Anyone else? Thank you, Mr. Grimm. And when you're ready, please. Okay. Councilman Cobb, you were also... No, sorry, you were there. You were. It's the next meeting that you need to abstain from. Okay. Councilman Cobb. Yes. Councilman Roadwald. Yes. Vice Mayor Cook. Yes. Mayor Lowry. Yes. Councilman Grimm. I abstained. I was not there. Councilwoman Eggleston. Yes. And Councilwoman Nowakowski. Yes. Those minutes are accepted. Six zero one. All right, and then moving on, we'll move the minutes for the work uh, work session right. on 11-15-20. We'll move. Zach, do you want a drink? No, it's okay. I didn't. Uh, Mr. Graham, and then second by Mr. Vice Mayor. No. No. <laughs> no motion, Dan, second. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's it's more, I <laughs> This is supposed to be. I on. still didn't hear it. First, second. Gotcha. All right. First, vice mayor. Second is Roadwall. And this, um, you will abstain, Mr. Cobb. Yep. Okay. Are we good? Yes. Vice Mayor Cook? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Yes. Councilman Eggleston? Yes. Councilman Nokowski? Yes. Councilman Cobb. Sustain, I was not here. And Councilman Roadwald. Yes. Those minutes are accepted 601. 
All right, thank you. Moving on, communications done tonight. Drop down to city manager's report. I will hand it over to Mr. Bridge. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, members of council, members of the public. Good to see everyone. Um, so it's going to be a short uh, manager report because that is the first meeting of the month. I uh, just got a few discussion points that are run by everyone. Uh, our 2020 audit has been approved by the state of Ohio. Um, so I will be emailing copies of that to council. It is a far better uh, audit than last year. So we are excited about that. Uh, we are anticipating our 2021 audit, which is this current fiscal year uh, audit to be even better than the 2020. So we've actually taken a lot of corrective steps to get uh, a clean audit award. So hopefully Ms. Harris will be able to get that next year. We're so close. We're so close. Um, this access evaluation was one of the dings we get, did get last year that was completed. We got the report over the weekend, actually. Um, I had sent it to council, uh, sent it to uh, the administrators that helped me out, uh, helped out with that. So what we have to do next is wait for our, our comp compilers to adjust our books. They'll probably do that after this year when the year ends. So uh, the one, one of our findings, again, from our 2020 uh, audit has been corrected. So that's a, that's a good, good move in the right direction. Um, employee retirement, we had Kathy Marshall retire from the city after many, many years of service. Uh, Kathy elected not to have a full-blown uh, retirement party, but we did enjoy a dinner after work. Uh, Kathy was a huge asset to the city, and we are, she is very highly missed already. So Kathy, please enjoy your retirement and tell your mom we said hello. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Tax incentives, I was charged by council last time to look at that. Uh, I've done some preliminary work on that. I've reached out to uh, a colleague of mine that I do uh, work uh, the, the bounce ideas off. Um, unfortunately, I'm not recommending that to council at this point in time. The business is it's just not big enough. Usually those are set aside for businesses who build massive buildings, who bring in millions of dollars and hire a lot of people. I haven't had anything that says, no, you can't. I'm still looking on that, so I don't have a definite answer for council. But just talking to the colleague that I did talk to, it's going to set precedent. So any small business that comes in here after that is going to want the same thing. And our tax, income tax, bread and butter, is our business income tax. Ultimately, when we have the final answer from the state of Ohio, that would be council's idea, uh, decision to make. But I would just want council to really think hard and long about that because of the precedents that it would set. Any questions on that one? Nope. Okay, so uh, Hensley Park Time Renovation. Uh, we'll email council. There's a lot of data we're considering. Uh, we still need to figure out what's going to happen to some of the private signs on there. <laughs> so we don't have a solid number for that yet, but as soon as we have something that we are comfortable pass along to council, we'll definitely do so. Uh, Mayor's Court, we are coming along with that. Um, you'll have some legislation tonight. Um, we did not have a seatbelt violation code in our code, so we did amend that. So that's in front of council tonight for introduction. Um, we have ordered the tickets. What we learned during that endeavor that they were just only traffic only tickets, which most mayor's courts only do traffic cases. Ours is a little different. We are doing criminal cases, so we have to order a separate book, a criminal book. So we're going to work on that. Uh, I don't know when the tickets are going to be in our possession, to be honest with you. Um, so we were just a waiting game at this point in time to get all this stuff in. Um, <laughs> uh, we also probably have to get a property maintenance book since we'll be in enforcing property maintenance violations as well. Uh, start date, we're just going to say early 2022. I don't want to pigeonhole us to say January. Um, really, we're at the honestly, we're at the liberty of other people at this point in time. We've had to register with four state agencies. So we've got word back from three or four of those and then the ticket. So um, we've done everything we could at our end. We're now just in a waiting game. And then of course we're updating our code to have the seatbelt violation in there. Uh, union negotiations, they, was, do, they do start December 14th all day. Then we have an overflow day of the 17th. I know we have talked about this before about having council members part of the negotiations. I did not want council members actually in on the negotiations. However, what I would like is maybe council to have a three-person contact that during the day I can pull you guys over and tell you what's going on so council's not so side-blinded. And if council could work, um, I don't know, maybe somehow communicate that to the rest of the members without violating the sunshine laws. So basically when we do come to look at this stuff, there's no surprises in it for anyone. Um, I'll let you guys choose who you want your three members to be. Is that something you guys are even interested in doing? Uh, just let me know and maybe we can get that set up for today. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Sir? Yeah. No. Okay. 
Well, we got two at least. That, I mean, that's fine with me if you got three that would, would like to be. Yeah, I'll go with nobody else. Okay. <coughs> well, so, Mr. Vice Mayor and Mr. Grimm and Ms. Nokowski, it sounds like. Oh, we volunteered? That's what it sounded like. <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah. Uh, does, do, uh, does everyone have daytime availability? Mr. Grimm, you do, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. We're good. You guys want to motion that? Mm -hmm. You got daytime availability? Yeah. You sure? Move. Always. The appointment of. you get me out of the house. <laughs> Mr. Cook, Mr. Grimm, and myself we want a boat to yeah. represent the city on negotiation stuff. Information. I'm going to make a motion that we. She just made a motion. I'll second it down. Okay. Okay. Did you get that, Mr. Bridge? And yes. This is her. Okay. So you got the second by Mr. Cobb. I'm ready. Got a call? All right. Ready. Councilman Rodewald? Yes. Vice Mayor Cook? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Yes. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. Councilwoman Nowakowski? Yes. And Councilman Cobb? Yes. That motion passed to 7 0. <clears throat> awesome. And one last item on here, um, town hall. We need to have that before the end of the year. Last year we did it at the last meeting in December. Yep. So That's we can just label meeting. that for yeah. the next one. That's so do you want to start the town hall at 6.30 and then regular session? Or just want to have, how do you, how do you want to set up the agenda and stuff? Uh, town hall, 6.30, regular meeting at 7. Make it all one happy meeting. Yeah. Start 6 30, 6.30, town hall, okay. Easy enough. We don't usually have too many takers for it anyway, mm -hmm. but. Just to save people here. Um, Brand, uh, Randy, I was going to ask you on the uh, mayor's court. Do we? I know you're waiting on the items you mentioned, but do we have uh, like equipment in place that we need? At the, mm -hmm. uh, yep, I haven't the, got the wands, the wand jet, um, but all her operational stuff is in. Okay. So I will need to get the uh, uh, wands. <laughs> um, yeah, for the most part, it's it's really right now just wait. We still haven't heard back from the Supreme Court, uh, if I remember correctly. So that's one of the agencies we got to get to, and then the rest of it is just the ticket books. Right, and then mm -hmm. I'm sure, I mean, very minor. You're going to order nameplates for everyone that needs one. Yeah, I mean that's easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So the magistrate and a clerk. Right. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yep. Right. Anything else? No, that'll do it. Council, any other questions for Mr. Bridge? Nope. All righty, moving on. Comments from members of the public. Do you have any questions or comments? Please go to the podium. We'll try to uh, keep it close to five minutes in your name and please. Mr. Bridge. <coughs> Randy Mullet, 522 Hamilton Avenue. Um, I guess technically this is a little bit of a committee report, but I don't know where, whether I'm coming or going these days. Um, we did have a very productive uh, first Parks and Rec Board meeting, um, although we did come across a couple of things that are written into the Parks bylaws that I just wanted to make you guys aware of. Mr. Bridge, I have yet to send you the meeting minutes or any of that kind of stuff, so I will work on that. They're written and on my computer, I just haven't sent them to you yet. Um, but, and actually this was something, um, that we, so we kind of reviewed the, the bylaws when we went through our meeting and just so that everybody was on the same page and kind of knew what the expectations were and our role and that kind of thing. And one of the things that I came across that's a little bit of a discrepancy is um, the procedure for removal of a member. Um, and I, it's, it says a member is absent from three, a member's position shall become vacant when a member is absent from three consecutive meetings or a total of one third of the regularly scheduled meetings in a calendar year, regardless if absence is excused or unexcused. And what we found with that is that that could potentially give somebody permission to miss a meeting, show up to a meeting, miss two meetings, show up to a meeting. And we don't want to be in a position to where somebody's just like, well, I got to show up now or I'm going to get kicked off. Not that I think that's going to happen, but we're just trying to cover our bases. Um, so I did a little research on my own and thought it most appropriate um, to amend that section of our bylaws to match um, the city charter section 4.08 for council. 
I was nice enough um, to go ahead and draft this. I have it written out and I will email it to you, Mr. Bridge, so that it's there. However, before we can do that, um, our last section in our bylaws, 278.17, um, says any proposed changes to the bylaws will be reviewed and approved by a majority vote of the board of member by board members at any regular meeting of the board. Uh, proposed amendments amendments must be approved by city council after our approval. And I don't know if that's the way that we should do it because it is a part of the city charter. I was I was leaning towards we shouldn't vote to make our own bylaw amendments per se, that it should more so be, like in this case, presented to council, I'm going to put it all together in a tidy little email, um, because it is part of the city charter. So my thought was that it should be just presented of, hey, we found that this is an issue, this is what we think, and then send it out, you know, put it out to you guys to actually vote and approve it, because it will be um, an ordinance. And I don't know that we have... I don't think as a board we have like voting authority to change. Are you talking about your codified bylaws? Yep. Okay, so that's not the charter. That's, that's in the regular codes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so all we need to do is send me you, send me what you've written. Okay. And then I can do all the appropriate slashes and italicize and then put it in front of council as and it's an ordinance, so I'll take two reads. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Well, I will tell you that I have made this as easy as I possibly could for you. I even put in here what ordinance it was initially so that you didn't have to go back and look at it. Um, so that's that. Uh, I will also send you a list of we've agreed. We've set meetings, um, dates and times for the first quarter okay. of 2022. Um, so I will send that out to you so we can get that on the uh, calendar and get the one swipe lead. legal ad and all that stuff done. Okay. Um, and then this was the only thing I had that was personal. So I didn't know. I didn't even know this was a thing. I've been a little out of the loop. Um, but you mentioned something about the re-signing for the Hensley Park sign. Um, I was just curious if council knew or was aware um, that. Every single sign like coming into the city of New Carlisle has the Babs Navens bar and grill thing on it and it's really stupid. <laughs> and I think we should, I mean, we, I get it. It's, you know, the little like joking back and forth thing on Facebook among a few people. Um, but I don't think that those should be posted on our, on our actual official city signs, especially when it's a non-existent thing. Anyone? What does it say on it? It's Babs Navens Bar and Grill. So there's a few members um, of the public who specifically on the New Carlisle, Ohio's Little Town Facebook page, um, they kind of have like a, oh, I have no idea what that means. a back and forth kind of joking ongoing thing. And it's from, um, if I remember right, it, I mean, this is before my time. I think it was, a, it was on a radio station. It was kind of like a Bob and Tom thing. Yeah. Bob and Tom. And I think it was out of Cincinnati. And they made this this joke on the show. If I if I was told right about this, okay, so that's is that what it is? Yeah. And they referred to this bar that was in New Carlisle. I mean, nothing bad, just that it was this bar, New Carlisle. They ran with it as a joke. Was it really a bar? No. 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 Uh, <laughs> and that that's the thing that I had. Like, I don't think we should have something on our official city signs for something that's non-existent. I think we just need to modernize it, put no more, no soup for you on it. Huh? Modernize it, put no soup for you. So I don't, I didn't know if it was like, I mean, obviously I'm not trying to make a big deal out of it because I get it. It's a fun little joke thing, but I just think about like when we have events or things and people from out of town are coming in and like, oh, Babs name is Bar and Grill. And they're like, what is this play? There's not, it doesn't exist. So. I actually had people ask me where it's at. <laughs> well, I would just, if I was, I would suggest that council is okay so asking Mr. Bridge, should just make sure that Mr. Hutchinson is aware of it and let him deal with it accordingly, I guess. Well, there's a lot of things on the, we're going to talk about a lot of those little businesses on the sign and stuff, but we'll get to that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is, that, is that where it's at on the? It's on all of them. 
<laughs> like coming in bumper sticker at water dog at water dog coming not, in at um it's not like a sign someone actually no. made. i mean they're like yeah oh, it it's like okay. this big no. i've never noticed it ever <laughs> never never as much as i've been here your entire life and they're all like they're at the bottom so it's not it's super perfect. obvious but I, I have noticed it on every single one of the, like, welcome to New Carlisle signs. I can't even. Um, I specifically notice it on the one, my, I'm directionally challenged, I guess it's down here, because I come in 571 a lot. So the one out there by the ball field, it's on there. Oh, I'm going to go look tomorrow. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm, yeah, that's, that's interesting. Or, I think we need to push for actually opening a, a Babs Nevens bar and grill. Check the Airbnb. Alrighty. All right, that's it. Thank you. Sign on your front porch. Yeah. All right, anyone else from the public? Anyone? Anyone? All righty, and moving on to committee reports done tonight. Uh, we'll jump into resolutions. Ms. Berger. All right, we have resolution 2021-19. This was introduced on November 15th, public hearing in action tonight. A resolution amending resolution 2020-21R, the capital improvement program for the city of New Carlisle, Ohio, for the purpose of removing capital purchase. Um, motion by the Vice Mayor, I know I heard him. Okay. And Ms. Eggleston. Vice Mayor. Um, and Eggleston. Okay, thank you. And an explanation of this. Uh, this is really a housekeeping one. Council already Pratt, this is the amend our 2021 to 25, 21, 2021 to 2025 CIP. Uh, we had wanted to get our SSI software a little bit earlier because the funds were looking good, so we're just submitting it to get it a year earlier. Council, any questions or comments? Okay. Councilman Nowakowski? Yes. Councilman Cobb? Yes. Councilman Roadwald? Yes. Vice Mayor Cook? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Yes. And Councilman Eggleston? Yes. That motion passes 7 0. Um, we have resolution 2021 20R. This was also introduced on November 15th. Public hearing in action tonight. A resolution amending resolution 2021 15R the capital improvement program for the city of New Carlisle, Ohio, for the purpose of adding and removing capital purchases. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Vice Mayor, second by Ms. Eagleston. And an explanation of this resolution, this resolution amends our 2022 to 2026 CIP, which is our next five years. Um, and this one, we removed the backhoe from the cemetery because that particular fund was not doing very well. Uh, and we again had removed the $38,000 from the finance and put it on our current year. And then we added in lands and buildings um, new city interior signs and then uh, new outdoor speakers for downtown, additional speakers for downtown. Council, any questions? When you're ready, please. Okay. Councilman Nokowski? Yes. Councilman Cobb? Yes. Councilman Roadwald? Yes. Vice Mayor Cook? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Yes. Councilman Eggleston? Yes. That motion passes 7 0. All right, moving on, we have Ordinance 2021 43. This was introduced on November 15th, public hearing in action tonight. An ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a, into a contract for the purchase of water softening rock salt. Hello. Oh. Second. Mr. Vice Mayor, Ms. Eggleston. And an explanation of this ordinance, this is a yearly ordinance that we do uh, to get softening salt for our water plant, uh, but it is uh, biddable by the state of Ohio uh, and federal laws. So we have the bid results in there and we did award to the lowest and best bidder. Council, any questions? When you're ready, please. Councilman Nokowski? Yes. Councilman Cobb? Yes. Councilman Roadwald? Yes. Vice Mayor Cook? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Yes. Councilman Eggleston? Yes. That motion passes 7 0. We have Ordinance 2021 44. This was introduced on November 15th. Public hearing in action tonight. An ordinance to establish appropriations for current expenses and other expenditures of the City of New Carlisle, State of Ohio, during the fiscal year ending December 31st, 2022. So moved. Mr. Cobb, Mr. Eggleston. 
Cook. Cook and Eggleston or Cobb? Cook. 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 Sorry. Eggleston. Yeah. That's Cook over there. Oh, no. I was yeah, he Cook was I said it wrong. <laughs> All right, so uh, explanation to this ordinance, this is also a yearly ordinance that we do. Uh, this is our annual appropriations ordinance. This is what we recommend to council for us to spend in a given year. Uh, so we've had a budget work session on that. The city finances are looking, uh, for the most part, very good. So again, this is our annual ordinance we do, and this is the money that we cannot exceed in 2022 to spend. Council, any questions for Mr. Bridge? And when you're ready, please. Okay. Councilman Nokowski? Yes. Councilman Cobb? Yes. Councilman Rodwald? Yes. Vice Mayor Cook? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Yes. Councilman Eggles? Motion passes 7-0. Moving to Ordinance 2021-45. This is introduced on November 15th, public hearing in action tonight. An ordinance amending Chapter 248 of the Codified Ordinances of the City of New Carlisle regarding city policy. Second. <laughs> Mr. Vice Mayor, Mr. Uh, explanation of this ordinance. Uh, this is basically to, fi uh, to, to, finish, to fix an error that we have. Um, every so often we do an online code update. During that online code update, uh, a section was numbered wrong. So we need to take 248. current 248.15, which is our federal grant policies, and make that 248.16. Council, any questions for Mr. Bridge? Ready, when you're ready, please. Councilman Eggleston? Yes. Councilman Nokowski? Yes. Councilman Cobb? Yes. Councilman Rodwell? Yes. Vice Mayor Cook? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Yes. That motion passes 7 0. We have Ordinance 2021 47 introduced on November 15th, public hearing in action tonight. An ordinance amending Chapter 246 of the Codified Ordinances of the City of New Carlisle regarding the City Employee Health Insurance Waiver Cash Out Plan. So moved. Second. Ms. Eggleston, Ms. Norkowski. And an explanation of this ordinance. Uh, we decided to take a look at our health insurance cash out because the city pays a very high amount uh, monthly and yearly on our employee health insurance. So we decided to take a look at how much we have for our uh, health insurance cash out. And basically what that is, if you are eligible to get insurance through uh, your spouse or, or your another employer, and it is satisfies the health insurance uh, needs that you actually can have health insurance, we are willing to <coughs> cash you out so you don't take ours. So uh, right now we're looking at a cash out of $6,000. But just to uh, give you an example of what that will save, if you opt to take that $6,000, cash out, it saves the city, if you're a single plan, $8,000 a year, approximately. Uh, employee's best spouse, it saves around $24,000 a year. Employee plus child, it will save around $19,500 a year. Employee plus children will save around $19,500. If it's a family plan, you're going to save the city $33,764 a year. Council, any questions or comments on that? Okay. When you're ready, please. Okay. Councilman Cobb? Yes. Councilman Rogel? Yes. Vice Mayor Cook? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilman Grimm? No. Councilman Eggleston? Yes. And Councilman Nokowski? Yes. That motion passes six to one. No, it's messy. Okay, we have ordinance. The next four are read only. So we have Ordinance 2021-48, introduction tonight, public hearing in action on December 20th, 2021. An ordinance supplementing certain appropriations contained in Carlisle City Ordinance 2021-01. Ordinance 2021-49, introduction tonight, public hearing in action on December 20th, 2021 and ordinance creating funds for unclaimed funds. Mm -hmm. Ordinance 2021-50, introduction tonight, public hearing in action on December 20th, 2021. And ordinance amending chapter 438 of the codified ordinances of the city of New Carlisle to address the use of occupant restraining devices. Ordinance 2021-51, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on December 20th, 2021 
an ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract with the sheriff of Clark County, Ohio for police protection within the city limits of New Carlisle, Ohio. And then I have one more that's not on the agenda, so I'm asking if you break rules of council so that I can read this tonight, please. So moved. Motion by Mr. Grimm, second by Ms. Eggleston, break rules. And Annette, can I explain why you don't Please. Um, so we've had some uh, on the supplemental ordinance 2021-48 at the next meeting, we're gonna request that die for lack of motion. Over the weekend, we had found some additional numbers that we need to put in. So this ordinance really is just replacing the 2021-48. Does that make sense? Okay, and I'll go ahead and read it. It's ordinance 2021-52. Uh, an ordinance supplementing certain appropriations contained in New Carlisle City Ordinance 2021-01. Did you need to do a vote for the rules? Oh, yep, I sure do. Forget about that. Nowakowski. Yes. Yeah. Councilman Cobb. Yes. Councilman Roadwold. Yes. Vice Mayor Cook. Yes. Mayor Lowry. Yes. Councilman Grimm. Yes. And Councilman Eggleston. Yes. A motion to break rules of council is accepted 7-0. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. We're covered now, right? You're good? Mm -hmm. All right. I have a question. Ma'am. Where's 46, ordinance 46? What is it? I think that was the emergency one. Well, that was the emergency okay. one last week. Yep. I had to remind myself of that too because it was odd. So I got you. You want me to read other business? Sure. All right, other business. Um, additional city business, open discussion for city related matters. Um, I'll go ahead and read the other bullet points. Um, early closure city operations will cease at 11.15 a.m. on Friday, December 17th to hold the annual um, employee Christmas party. Uh, I just had one thing under other business. Uh, I know you've already gotten word on this, Mr. Grip. But just again, thank you. Pass along the thank you to uh, Mr. Kitko and Mr. Hutchinson and all those who helped make the uh, city building look so good in the downtown area. It looks wonderful. It does. Um, and I will. Thank you. Yes. And then also to the uh, Christmas parade and um, the Christmas parade and uh, tree lighting committee, a big thank you to them because that was a, that was a really good turnout. So good job to them for putting that on. It was an excellent time. So they did a great job. It was a nice event for the city. So thank you. I came back home to find the building on Pike Street is gone, the old yeah. substation is gone, yeah. and parking spaces are painted. Yeah. Yep. Main Street. We're, we're progressing. Yeah. We'll <laughs> Next time you leave, come back, we'll add 5,000 population. How's that? Maybe. I don't think he wants that. That's a drop. That's a drop. We'll add 5,000. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Good, Mr. Grimm? I'm good. Thank, Thank you, sir. You. Mr. Vice Mayor. I know occasionally that uh, our city, I guess the word is, moves a little slow on getting things done. But approximately three years ago, I asked for a additional lighting for this parking lot. May I ask where that stands? You're asking me about something from three years ago? I have no idea. Because we've had multiple conversations about the redundant of this, so I'll have to get with Ms. Kiko. Okay. Yeah, I, have, I can't I would, answer that. I would like, dearly love to see it done because it is fairly dark out there. Sure, sure. And I think we're leaving ourselves wide open for litigation in case somebody renting this location mm -hmm. would fall out there. Yep. I just request that if we go do something like that and something falls through the crack, that maybe you gently remind us in a more appropriate time frame. But yeah, we can definitely look into that. That should be a real easy fix. And I want to say that now that I'm thinking about this, weren't we waiting until we got the internet here because of the pole that had to be installed? That's ex I think that's what it was. So I'll get with Howie about that tomorrow. Since we got the internet out there now, that might be a solution to it. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. yep. And actually, piggyback off on something he, he mentioned, the uh, Handicap space. Did we? I, I know we talked about that too. Once they got repaved. So I, I yeah. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to stripe this because I thought we had talked about doing this as a, a fix and then actually expanding that parking a little bit and squaring it off. So I'll get an update from Mr. Kiko and definitely get you guys updated on that. Not a problem. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. Sure. Thank you. Anyone Thank else? you. 
All right, moving on, we were going to be going into an executive session to consider the appointment, employment, dismissal, discipline, promotion, motion, or compensation of, an, of, an, of, of a public employee. Um, I don't believe or foresee any action taking place after we come out of executive session. Of course, you are welcome to come back in once we come out of executive session. So with that being said, we'll... We'll take a vote to go into executive session, take a five minute breather if I need to use the restroom. So I'll need a motion. So. Um, second. Motion by Ms. Eggleston, second by Mr. Grimm. Councilman Eggleston? Yes. Councilman Okowski? Yes. Councilman Cobb? Yes. Councilman Roadwald? Yes. Vice Mayor Cook? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Yes. The motion to move to executive session passes 7 0. All right, we'll start that in about five minutes. Mr. Mayor, I move. Move back into regular session. Second. So motion by Mr. Grimm, second by Ms. Eggleston to move back into regular session. Okay, and it is 8.05. Um, Councilwoman Okowski? Yes. Councilman Cobb? Yes. Councilman Roadwald? Yes. Vice Mayor Cook? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Yes. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. Motion to return to regular session is approved, 7 to 0. No. Um, I move we break rules of council to introduce a new ordinance. Second. Second was Eggleston? Uh, yes. Okay. It's an ordinance or resolution? It's a resolution, right? There's an ordinance. No, it's an ordinance. ordinance. It has to be an ordinance. I apologize. It's an ordinance. And so you move to break rules of council so I can introduce ordinance 2021-53. Okay. Eggleston, Councilman Nowakowski? Yes. Councilman Cobb? Yes. Councilman Roadwald? Yes. Vice Mayor Cook? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Yes. And Councilman Eggleston? Yes. All right, motion to break rules of council passes 7 0. I will read the ordinance for introduction. Um, this will be introduced tonight and public hearing in action on December 20th. 2021 ordinance 2021-53 an ordinance establishing compensation for the city manager of the city of new carlisle council any other business before we wrap up move to adjourn yes, second uh, motion by Ms. eggleston second by mr Grimm to adjourn okay. councilwoman eggleston yes councilwoman nokowski yes councilman cobb yes Councilman Roadwald? Yes. Vice Mayor Cook? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. And Councilman Grimm? Yes. Motion to adjourn accepted 7 0.